I'm Betty from the Wayne County Public Library in Holmesdale, Pennsylvania. Welcome to Wednesday Morning Story Time, where we clap and we sing and we read and we learn. Let's get ready. Good morning. I'm glad you're here with me today. All right. Let's start with our hello song. We're going to clap and slap our knees. Let's go. Bread and butter, jelly and jam. Let's say hello as quietly as we can. Hello. Now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to do it loud. Bread, bread and butter, jelly and jam. Let's say hello as loudly as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, jelly and jam. Let's say hello as slowly as we can. Hello. Now we're going to do the opposite. Fast. Bread and butter, jelly and jam. Let's say hello as quickly as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, jelly and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, jelly and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. Good job. All right, big, 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 where we talk about words that are different too. Hello, Ada. Ready? Are you doing with me, Ada? Get your hands together. Here we go. This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. Get ready. You ready? This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes. Yes, yes, this is no, no, no. Good job. Hi, Grayson. Okay, time for the calendar, my favorite part, because it's a new month and we get to talk about a new month. So, let's go. The last month was March, but we are now in dun, da da dun, April. Look at those beautiful letters. A P R I L. Hi, Julie. April. Our year, we're still in 2021. That's 2021. The season. What's our season? We are in spring and that's when all the buds start coming out on the flowers and the trees and the grass is getting greener and the sun is getting warmer and the days are longer miss betty's happier it's a good 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 season now let's see what number we're up to what day is today one two Three, we're right at the beginning of the month. Four, what number? That's right, five, six, what comes next? Seven. And what day do we meet? We meet here on Wednesday. Look at that big, long word. Should we spell all those letters? Let's do it. W-E-D-N-E-S-D. A Y. That's a big long word. Hi, Donovans. <clears throat> what is the weather? Oh, I wish we were doing this later and I can say it was sunny because I think it's going to be sunny later. Is it, is there thunder and lightning outside? No. Is there snow? No. Is it windy out? Not, not very windy, no. <clears throat> no sun yet. It looks, what do you see when you look out your window? I see lots of clouds. 
I don't think it's, uh, it's not raining yet, but I think it might have rained last night. All right, so let's go through our calendar. Today is April 7th, 2021. The season is spring. The weather is cloudy. And today is Wednesday. Good job, everybody. Okay, time to get talking. Ready to get talking? Am I talking too much? Sick of hearing me talking? Too bad. You're here with me for a half an hour. Let's get talking, my little darlings. Ooh, this is a good one. Well, I didn't shake it, did I? Where would you like to go that you've never been? Ooh, that's a good one. Where would I like to go? Where would you like to go? that you've never been, a place that I've never been that I want to go to. Hmm, let's see. Oh, you know where I'd really like to go? I would like to go to Ireland. And uh, because my family is Irish and that's a country very far away, I would have to take, um, I would have to take a plane to get there. And I would like to go there and I would love to go visit some castles. That is a dream of mine. So what is some, what's a place that you would like to go to that you've never been to before? Can you think of somewhere that you'd like to go to? Um, have you been to, have you been to, do you live far away? Have you been to Honesdale? Come on over, we're waiting for you. All right, let's see. I think it's mailbox time. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if the flag is up. Is the flag up? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Get your wands. Get your wands. Ready? Let's do our magic spell. Magic words. Abra, cadabra, open sesame. All right, let's see if our magic is still working. It's opening. Ooh! Lots of things today. Oh, we got lots of mail today. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, it's all so much, so much mail. Let's see what we got today. Bluefish. An orange, pretty orange fish. Cute little blue teddy bear. Oh, another little blue teddy bear. Wow, lots of mail today, huh? A red teddy bear, a blue fish, and another red teddy bear. What's going on? I don't know, but we're gonna find out, right? Let's get our puppet. What's our puppet today? Oh, can you guess what it is? What is it? Do you know what it is? I smelled one of these when I came into the library today and I ran into the library because I didn't want to get sprayed by this cute little animal. Did you guess skunk? Then you're right, here he is. Hi Angie, hi Kinley, hi Sawyer. Yes, Pew is right. Okay, so let's look at him because we're gonna read a book about animals with all different designs on them. So what's his design? He has white and then black and then white. White, black, white. Let's have a little chat with him. Let's put him behind our back. Where is skunk? Where is skunk? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, friend? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Run away and hide. Smelly, smelly skunk. But he is a little cutie pie, isn't he? They are cute. I see them sometimes walking along the road at night, but did they, their smell 
when they see somebody, when they see an animal or a person that's coming after them, that's what they do to protect themselves. They lift up their tail and they spray, the spray that smells so strong. So it makes you want to stay away from them. So it's very clever that he, that's how he protects himself. Okay, so let's get ready to read. So we got to put on our glasses, get our book together. Who's ready? I know that Ada's ready because Ada's mom showed me a video of her doing this and it made my heart so happy. Ready? These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. And I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and close up the book. Hey, Cliff Lobby. All right, so let me tell you first about the topic that we're talking about today. We are going to talk about, remember we talked about the skunk with the black, white, black. Um, we're gonna talk about patterns today. And patterns are designs on things that just keep repeating. You keep seeing them. So the, um, let me get my skunk. So the pattern on the skunk is he has a white stripe, a black stripe, a white stripe. Do you see, do you see any patterns that I have? Do you have any design? Look, blue stripe, pink stripe, blue stripe, pink stripe. Blue stripe, do you hear that pattern? Blue, pink, blue, pink, blue. What would the next one be? Listen, blue, pink, blue, pink, blue. See the pattern? It's a design that just keeps repeating itself. Um, if I had polka dots on my shirt and I had lines of them, red, white, red, white, red, white. What would come next? Red and then white. It just keeps repeating itself. Are you wearing anything now that has patterns? Do you have patterns of flowers? Do you have patterns of stripes? Do you have patterns of wiggly lines? Maybe you have wiggly lines, straight lines, wiggly lines, straight lines wiggly lines, straight lines. Look at your clothes now. Or, look, this shirt, does this shirt have patterns? This is just a plain pink shirt, isn't it? But this sweater I'm wearing has lots of patterns, lots of stripes, blue and pink and blue and pink and blue and pink. Do you hear my pattern? Okay, so let's look at some animals that have beautiful patterns. This is called stripes of all types and look, Look who's the star on the cover, a skunk. This is written and illustrated by Susan Stockdale. She wrote the story and she drew the beautiful pictures. Whoa, that's a pattern. Look at that pattern. What animal do you think that is? Is it a porcupine? Is it, it's not a skunk. It's the same colors as a skunk, isn't it? but it is the stripes are way more than we saw in our skunk do you know what what do you think that animal is think about it but look at the pattern black stripe white stripe black stripe white stripe black stripe white stripe black stripe white stripe do you hear that pattern black white black white black white what would come next black and then what white Good job, that is patterning. And if you guessed that he was a zebra, you were right. Stripes of all types. Ooh, look at that little frog. He's got a pattern. He's red and then he has a yellow stripe and then he's red and he has a yellow stripe. So where, so we can find stripes all over. Stripes can be found in the water. Look at that beautiful jellyfish. And he's got a reddish stripe. And then he has polka dots. And then he has a reddish stripe. And then he has polka dots. And then he has a reddish stripe. And then he has polka dots. What a beautiful pattern. 
a red stripe and polka dots. Can you do that with me? A red stripe and polka dots. A red stripe and polka dots. A red stripe and polka dots. Do you hear how the keeps repeating? We keep saying the same things over. That's a pattern. Oh, we can see a pattern sliding through the weeds. Do you see that beautiful snake with his pattern? His pattern is green and then yellow. Green and then yellow. Oh, we see a pattern here. The, this animal, and he is drinking from a river. So we see patterns with animals that drink near the river. Another black and white pattern. Let's do it. Ready? Black and white. Black and white. Black and white. Can you say it with me? What will come next? Black and You're right. Why? You are so smart. Oh, here's a pattern darting through reeds. Look at, he has a speckly pattern. Oh, this is a pattern carrying a shell. Look at that beautiful pattern. Let's look at those colors. Orange and white. Orange and white. Orange and white. Orange and white. What will come next? Orange and white. Ooh, here's a pattern twisting on the sand. Hi, Lori, I'm glad you're here. Orange and white, orange and white, orange and white. So many beautiful patterns. Ooh, this is a big one. This takes up two pages. Are you ready for this big pattern? Look at that pattern. This tiger is sprawled in his lair and look at his pattern. Orange and black, orange and black, orange and black. What would come next? Hi, Ava and Luca. Orange and black, orange and black. What would come next? Orange, good. And we see some patterns sprinting on the land. And we know this pattern, we've talked about it today, right? White and black. White and black, white and black, white and black. Good job. Oh, here's a pattern prowling in the prairie. That's another black and white pattern, isn't it? Gray, you love tigers? Me too. Here's a pattern perched on a peak. Look at the white stripes. So he has some brownish fur and white stripes, so his pattern would be brown and white, brown and white, brown and white. What comes next? Brown. Oh, this is a pattern. Now, I see a lot of patterns here. There's bees, and the bees are yellow and black stripes. So it would be yellow and black. Yellow and black, yellow and black. But I also see the cactus has these little prickers. So look, it's got little, little sharp prickers and then green. Little prickers and green, prickers and green. You hear that pattern? Oh, he was, this is one of the first ones we saw on the, one of the inside covers, propped on a log, that pattern. He is a little frog and he is orange with yellow stripes. So he would be orange and yellow, orange and yellow. Oh, another beautiful pattern. So many black and white patterns. That beautiful butterfly poised on a leaf. And his pattern is black and white, black and white, black and white. You're getting it, aren't you? Here's our beautiful skunk. Did I think that picture at the beginning? I thought that was a zebra, but look. It is a skunk. The artist of this book tricked Miss Betty. Oh, look at these 
Beautiful patterns under the ocean. Beautiful polka dots. And here he has white and black, white and black. Do you see that pattern repeating itself? And here, look, orange and blue, orange and blue, orange and blue. Patterns all over the world. Oh, Grayson, do you have a turkey? Grayson is my friend and he has lots of birds living in his yard. Tons of patterns here. There's brown with stripes on his tail and black and white feathers here. Tons of patterns. Ready for the next pattern? These little cats have patterns, don't they? Gray and black stripes, gray and black, gray and black, gray and black. Good job. Yeah, look, look at all these patterns. Do you see how they're all, every one of them keeps repeating itself. Black and white, black and white. That's right, Timmy Tom, the turkey, you told me about him. Black and yellow, black and yellow. How about this one? Orange and white, orange and white. So many good patterns. I love that story. So you have to look around, look around your world today. Look around your house and see if you see any patterns. Is your uh, couch in your living room, does that have a pattern on it? Do your pajamas when you get in bed, um, when you put on your pajamas, do they have a pattern? Uh, do the sheets on your bed or the blanket on your bed have a pattern? All right, now let's find out why do we have teddy bears and fish in our mailbox. All right, let's figure this out. Well, I can tell you right now, I think I know why. Because I think that we can make a pattern out of these red bears and blue bears. So let's make a pattern. Let's start with the red bear. Red and blue. Red and blue. Let's get more of my bears. Let's see how much of a pattern we can make. Can we make more? Okay. Red and blue. Red and blue. What would come next? Let's say it again. Red. Listen to the listen to the, the repeating. You can even do it like a little song. Red and blue. Red and blue. Red and blue. Good job. How about those fish though? Why do you have fish in there? Let's see. Let's see what I have. All right, we have a beautiful little blue fish and an orange fish and a blue fish. Ooh, an orange puffer fish. We talked about them one time, didn't we, when we were talking about the ocean? Okay, so we have two orange fish and two blue fish. So let's make a pattern. Should we start with orange or blue? Let's start with our puffer fish. Okay, let's start over here. Orange and blue. What comes next? Orange and blue. What would come next? Orange and blue, orange and blue, orange and blue. Good job. All right, let's try it with some other fish. I have a red puffer fish. And I have a blue swordfish. And I have a red swordfish. And a 
I have another red support so swordfish and a blue. So let's see what we got here. Ready? All right. Let's start with our puffer fish. Red and blue. So our pattern is going to be red and blue. So let's get ready. Red and blue. Red and blue. Red and blue. Look at our beautiful pattern. Red and blue. Red and blue. Red and blue. What will come next? Red. Red and blue. Red and blue. Red and blue. Red and... That's right. Blue. You guys are good. You are going to know patterns today. You're going to be looking all over your world for patterns. Let's do... Let's do some more. Look at all my teddy bears. How about some green and yellows? Green. Get some greens out and some yellows. And then I think you're ready for a hard pattern, a real tricky pattern. But first, let's do this one. Okay, so let's make a pattern out of green and yellow. And grown-ups, you can do this with anything. You can do this with ripped pieces of paper. Um, you can do this with buttons. You can do it with forks and spoons. Fork and spoon, fork and spoon, fork and spoon. There's your pattern. Okay, <clears throat> let's make our pattern. Let's take a yellow. Start with a yellow. Yellow. Green. Yellow. Green. What comes next? What comes next? Yellow, green. Now, what if I mix it up? I'm gonna mix it up and you tell me if it's a pattern. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this is a pattern. Green and yellow, 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 blue, a uh, green, <laughs> green. That doesn't sound like a pattern, does it? Let's do it backwards. Green, green, yellow, 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 green. That doesn't sound right, does it? Let's, let's change up those teddy bears to make a really good pattern. I think we're ready. Ooh, do you see it? If I switch these. It's not a pattern, that's all mixed up crazy bears. There's our pattern. Do you see how it's repeating? Yellow and green, yellow and green, yellow and green. All right, are you ready? Are you ready for, it's almost time to go, so I'm gonna really challenge your brains. Are you ready? All right, I gotta get a lot of bears out for this because I am going to teach you a very tricky pattern. Okay, let's do green and then two yellows. Green and then two yellows. And green and then two yellows. Let's look for the pattern, ready? Green, yellow, yellow. Green, yellow, yellow. Green, yellow, yellow. What would come next? Green, and then yellow, yellow. Listen. Green, yellow, yellow. Green, yellow, yellow. Green, yellow, yellow. Green, yellow, yellow. Beautiful. All right, let's try doing it a different way. <clears throat> this is getting tricky. <clears throat> okay, ready? bears in here. Okay, ready? Here we go. Green, green, yellow. Green, green, yellow. Green, green. What comes next? Red? Let's listen to the pattern. <clears throat> green, green, yellow. 
green, green, yellow, green, green, red. No. Green, green, yellow, green, green, yellow, green, green. You're right, yellow. Good job. Now let's do it backwards. Yellow, green, green, yellow, green, green, yellow, green, green. Do you see the pattern? We are so smart, aren't we? You have to look around your house today for patterns. Tons of patterns. We did a lot today. We're in a new month. We learned patterns. What other patterns we can do? Uh, okay, who's watching today? Boys and girls. Let's do a pattern. Boys and girls. Boys and girls. Boys and girls. Let's do... Um, Let's do grown-ups that we know. Let's do moms and dads, moms and dads, moms and dads. Good pattern. How about um, grandmas and grandpas? Grandmas and grandpas, grandmas and grandpas, grandmas and grandpas. How about pets? Cats and dogs, cats and dogs, cats and dogs. You hear the pattern? Good job, everybody. Okay, let's get ready. Say our goodbye. We've got to get all our wiggles out. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your toes. Wiggle your shoulders. Oh, it feels so good, doesn't it? And wiggle your nose. And now, all the wiggles are out of me. And we will sit quietly as can be. And now we're going to say goodbye to our friends. Get your friend hooks. We're going to say it in sign language. We're not going to... We're going to use our fingers to tell this, to sing the song. Here's our friends, and we're going to make them hug this way and this way, and that's the sign for, for friends. Let's go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Beautiful job. Thank you for joining me. Have a lovely day today. It's going to be 68 and it's going to be sunny. So get outside, look all over for patterns, and then report back to me. Thanks for joining me. Grown-ups, read to your children. It makes a difference. I know what I'm talking about. Okay? Let's do it. All right. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me, everyone.